Hey guys, welcome back to another video, uh, WT Moto Bikes. Um, today's video is going to be on ignitions and how to wire them. So uh, I got several different ignitions here. We got just a normal magneto. We get a stock black box. Uh, we got the CDI for a, uh, oh shoot, I think it's like a Super Spark or something like that. I can't remember exactly. Uh, Primarily this video will be on this one though. This is a uh, PW80 CDI from a dirt bike and uh, Anytime you run a standalone CDI, you got to run a standalone coil So let me show you guys the difference between running a stock black box and running a CDI with standalone coil so of course with a stock black box you got you know your wires coming off your magneto and they're just gonna plug in to your wires on your coil just like that and then your spark plug would be here pretty simple setup uh, the thing about these systems is if you're gonna run it uh, preferably if you want your system to last the longest amount of time you uh, you don't want to run the uh, kill switch on these as it burns out the wire I believe this wire right here on the ground um, it burns it out and then you have to replace your magneto all the time so that's the stock black box uh, going towards something like this with the uh, standalone CDI and the standalone coil um, again this one has a mark pretty easily to where you know you got blue wire plugs into blue wire you got black wire plugs into black wire pretty simple and then uh, your two wires here uh, they they make it easy for you so this is going to be your ground that plugs into your standalone coil right there I don't know how well, we, how well you can see that um, and then this part here I'll unscrew it real quick this part here would be where you hook up your positive side of your CDI that goes to your coil like that to complete the circuit and then of course this would go to your spark plug wire I don't know how well you guys can see that but we got wires off the magneto to the CDI these two spare wires coming off here would go to your kill switch with a CDI with a standalone CDI and a kill switch it isn't as bad on your magneto by the way um, and then your standalone coil but we're gonna unhook this real quick get that out of the way so here's your PW80 CDI now there's a few wires that are missing here there's a, a white black wire right there I just cut that one off that's for the kill switch I, I preferably don't run a kill switch I would rather kill it with uh, choking the engine out in my personal opinion um, but we got a red wire and just a solid black wire and then we got an orange wire and then another black wire so we're gonna have to <clears throat> wire these two wires here to the magneto which you can see it's got a red wire and then just this black wire so black goes to black and then this blue wire which is your positive or power wire is gonna go to the black red wire here plug those in together now <clears throat> this end I actually have to cut this one off and put the piece that can allow it to hook up to this here this this wire here the black one needs to plug into this so I'm gonna fix that real quick we'll just cut these wires off if my scissors here could cut I'm gonna cut this one as well okay now we're gonna fix these up real quick so they can take a wire end cap thingy whatever the hell they're called don't remember offhand someone I'm sure will correct me for that then you're gonna twist these twist them now I gotta get a couple ends for those got this huge bucket of stuff so I got plenty of ends so 
So I'm going to take one of these, and this needs to be for the ground. I always fold these in half just to make it seem like it's going to stick in there better. Then I'm going to pop this on there. I'm going to crimp it real quick. Okay. I'm going to actually cut this sleeve a little bit so I can make these wires spread out a little more. Just like that. And then this end needs to be a round one like this. We need one of these guys. So again, I'm going to flip that over like that. And I'm going to pop it on there. Then crimp it. Like that. Okay. So we've got our black wire. It's going to plug in like this. And then we've got our orange wire right there. It's going to go right here on the coil. So where'd my screw go? Pop that on there like this. Tighten it all up. And uh, in this video, I'll post the wiring diagram for all this. But again, so we got our magneto, black wire and blue wire, black wire coming off the PW80, and then the wire with the red going to the blue. And then over here, we got our orange wire going to the coil here, and then our black wire going to the ground like so. We got this all wired up. I actually have one on my bike already and I'll show it to you guys um, that it works. I'm wired the exact same way as this. So anyway, let's go out to my bike and take a look. I'm at my bike and I actually have my uh, PW80 uh, CDI down here. Um, and then I got my magneto wires going here to the uh, racing CDI. And uh, I could switch this real quick, it only takes a second, um, but I have to run the wires from this right here going to this coil, which I actually have a spark plug set up already, um, just because I've always liked to change CDIs anytime I change a pipe to see which, uh, which CDI runs the pipe the best. Um, pipes are picky, sometimes the ignition just needs to be specific. But let me hook this all up and we'll get it started. So I got the bike ready to go. I threw on my little straight pipe exhaust. My expansion chamber's broken right now. I need to fix it. So I haven't started this thing in probably seven months. So she's probably going to take a minute to fire up. I'll let you guys watch me go up and down the driveway real quick. And we'll see if it'll fire up. So that is the uh, PW80 CDI that I just hooked up um, and you can see that I connected the wires down here and then I got the uh, coil pack going to the spark plug wire there um, and I'll actually hook up the uh, uh, tachometer so you guys can see the tachometer real quick you can see I got the temperature there um, yeah let me hook up the tack real quick I'm gonna fire this thing up real quick I hooked up the tack so as soon as I get it fired up, I'll uh, show you guys the tack and the temp work. Just fall. Just kind of like point at me.
I hope you guys liked the video. If you would uh, like to like and subscribe, please like or subscribe. If you have any questions or want uh, future videos made on anything specific, just leave me a comment. I usually answer comments pretty quickly. I've been uh, doing motorized bikes since 2008, so I know a lot about them. Uh, any question is not a bad question. There's tons of knowledge in two strokes and just motorized bikes in general. Anyhow, guys, have a great day, and I'll see you later.